Yeah, last night was a pretty shitty night, to be honest. Car that pulled up here uh, around 7 p.m. and kind of wanted to park here. The guy was just here. I had to shine my headlight on him. And then he drives away and he drives down this road down here. And he's down there for about two hours firing off a bunch of rounds. And he gets tired of that, comes back up here. And then he starts driving by. And then, you know, he knows I'm here because he, he drove past me earlier. He gets to about, you know, 100 feet past the tent, slams on the brakes, puts it in reverse really quick, goes back over here, and he's like 20 feet from my tent. And I'm getting a little concerned now at this point. The guy's got a gun. Anyway, so I shine my light on him, and then he leaves. So it's a bit bizarre. Well, it's about midnight, I guess. Another vehicle pulled up and uh, shined my light on him, and then, you know, he continued on down there. So from now on, I'm really going to try my hardest to just not camp by any kind of road or anything. You know, these are not the kind of people I want to be anywhere near in the middle of the night, you know. So I'm all packed up, ready to go, and I look over here, and I notice half a Gatorade bottle. I think most people would look at this and say, no way, I'm not drinking <laughs> an open Gatorade bottle that I just found on the ground in the middle of the desert. However, when you're on a through hike, you do shit that you wouldn't normally do. So I'm gonna go ahead and be the dirty piece of hiker trash that I am and uh, drink this Gatorade. Now I'm all hopped up on those electrolytes. <laughs> Feeling pretty good actually. It was uh Ah oh, man, it was a good call. <laughs> Glad I drank that. Uh, I've reached a new low in life. Uh, anyways, this was the end of the Black Canyon Wilderness. And now on this side of the road, I begin the El Dorado Wilderness. And the name El Dorado is referenced to the Lost City of Gold. Of course, there's no Lost City of Gold here in Nevada. Uh, but they did find a lot of gold between here and the town of Nelson. It's uh, basically where my water cache is, just outside of, uh, it's a ghost town now, ghost town of Nelson. And now it's time to climb, gain this ridge line, and walk this for several miles. The sheep path takes 
takes the edge. They don't mind the exposure. That's slippery too. Probably safer taking the rocks. In fact, I know it's safer. Ooh. So the rocks move. Another dead tortoise shell all the way on top of this, this peak. This one's pretty far gone. Yeah, things just crumble into bits. snake totally non-poisonous no idea what he is he seems pretty happy just hanging out there in the sun so I've dropped down off the top of the ridge line I'm kind of contouring around the hillside here I'm just gonna keep my elevation here go up and over that little saddle drop down on the other side hit the canyon I don't know if this is just you know a unique spot here with the weather you know it just happens to be the exact right climate or if it's the start of a you know a larger transition and after all this is the Mojave Sonoran Trail where the deserts will transition from the Mojave desert environment to the Sonoran desert environment well you know at least this wash looks like it's going to be pretty easy to walk and clearly no canyoneering here it's just nice to look ahead and say that doesn't look hard <laughs> for once yeah and almost immediately after going over this little saddle i've been finding a lot more chunks of quartz here down in this wash now the walking is really easy this is good news i can make uh best time i can to my next water source i still don't think i'm going to reach it tonight uh, but i should reach it early morning tomorrow and this section overall is probably the driest section i'm going to end this section with a 20 20 something mile water carry as well there's another tarantula that's the second one i've seen now This would be the camp spot if I was ready to camp for the night. A perfect flat spot, really. Nice little elevated view. But alas, it is midday. Really would like some shade right about now. I'm ready for lunch. There in the hills there is a spring there marked on the map it's named forlorn hope spring forlorn hope spring so with a name like that it doesn't it doesn't sound very promising you know there's a little barrel here a little tank of course it's dry wasn't expecting anything less out of this but you know hardware's here at some point there was some sort of you know pipe going running up here. So this is what I don't get. Riddle me this. If uh, this spring once had water when they discovered it, why would they name it something like Forlorn Hope Spring, right? So on the flip side, if it didn't have water, why would it, how would, the, how would you even know it was a spring? <laughs> it's kind of confusing. And this spring really was worth checking because I would have had to climb up this elevation anyway to reach this pass. Let's see what we have over this pass. 
Oh wow, actually, that's really nice. Pretty jagged uh, peaks there, I like that. And now it's time to head down this drainage here. That's gonna lead me to Oak Creek Canyon. Every time you make forward progress, you see the, the canyon walls at a different angle. And they expose like a different depth to them that you know, wasn't immediately obvious from the previous vantage point you had. Gotta say this canyon has some has some real character and personality to it. You can really tell this area gets very little traffic. So here's a good comparison. This is the silver choya and this whole field over here is just uh, the teddy bear choya or the jumping choya. And you can really see the difference. This is like a thinner, lankier type of cactus here, whereas this one's just, I don't know, a little bushier. You really gotta watch it around here. I mean, it's no joke. These things are extremely painful. And the barbs are everywhere. You know, you're walking around in the ground, it's really easy to just kick one like that. And you know, have that right between your toes, forget about it. literally like walking through a minefield and thankfully these cactuses only want to grow in this specific canyon no problem for me the canyon i'm walking here looks totally for well not totally free but 95 percent more free of cactus than this one This whole canyon has just been awesome. Oak Creek Canyon. Just incredible. And getting close to the top of the canyon now. There's a lot more boulders. And the wash has kind of turned into a little bit more of a scramble. Yeah, running low in daylight again, and now I found myself in the hardest part of the canyon. Still not at the, the top of the canyon, but I think I'm past like the worst of the boulders. This looks like it to me. I think I'll camp here tonight in a nice protected spot from the wind. Yeah, this'll do.